thinking about the reasons that we out here. I'm trying not to get mad. I'm trying not to get frustrated. I'm trying to figure out ways that we can start moving forward. Because it's like every single second, it just feels like that I open my eyes, I see a person like me either getting shot or killed or both. And there's nothing that we can say or do to stop it fast enough. I woke up this morning and I thought hard about this and I thought, I mean, I mean, it's something that I do a lot. I think and then I'm, because I'm trying to fix something. I'm always trying to fix something. My voice is still weak. I mean, I don't know if it'll ever be the same because I donated it. On top of me donating everything that that is me to a cause that I know is worthy of it, Someone broke into my car and took all the tools that I used to amplify my voice. It's not about me, but that hurt me. It hurt me in a way that, like, it wasn't the material things, it was the things that I couldn't replace. And I, I appreciate everybody for coming out and standing up for my, my personal, my personal life, and, and making my sound even amplified even louder. I appreciate everybody for doing that. I appreciate all these artists that come out to support me in, in my beliefs um, and how to do this in a different way. I, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate Jamal for setting up down here and coming out every single night when I was too weak to do it. I appreciate it. I'm going to say my favorite thing. This is no longer a police issue. This is no longer a PPD issue. This is no longer a Fed issue. This is no longer a Donald Trump issue. This is our issue. It's a human issue. If we don't do what we need to do to change it, then we lose. The problem has been all along us. That's another thing I realized. We stood away from accountability for so long, not only white people, but black people as well. It's time to be accountable, because if we don't do what we need to do, this continues to go. We can't keep playing this music. That generator will run out of gas eventually. So if we don't do what we need to do to change this, it's, it's, it's our fault. It's on us now. Become accountable. I put myself in a position that matter. That's why I'm here. I know I matter. I know black lives matter. I know your life matters. I know all things matter. I know that. I believe that with all my heart. And I put my life in, I put my life on the line for that every single day, all day, 24-7, 365. I'll stand on that. And I think that uh, everybody that's out here right now has graduated to the point where you can say all lives matter. That's the, that's the objective of this, of this all. The objective is to become, to have a day that we can say all lives matter. That is the objective. That is the objective. We can't get, but that is the objective. So you can ride in big trucks and wave flags, but that doesn't matter because we don't matter. 
I'm all for it, but I just want to say thank you for amplifying my voice. Thank you for amplifying all these voices, because we do matter. And through that, everything matters. DJ, let's go on. I want to bring my boy Easter to the stage. And this is a brother. This is a brother to me. This guy means a lot to me. That's all I'm going to say.
Hey, Issa, 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 that's my name, Issa. I'm from Senegal, Issa World, that's my IG. I'm gonna say like, they say you gotta say it three times when you perform. You know, four times is tacky. <laughs> 